Okay, so you recorded the song, but you're still independent at this point. Yeah. Um, and you end up hooking up with Mr. Kali Park? Kali Park flew in the Shreveport when he heard this King Art, King Art, the King Art, and um, DJ Funky, I think, were playing a record in Atlanta. And Kali Park heard it and flew straight into Shreveport with a contract. But the thing about okay. this is, I didn't want to sign the contract. Now, Kali Park is my dude, and I would never want to take back any business that I did with him. But where I was mentally, I didn't want to sign the contract. What happened was, Kali Park flew into town. I had a show that night. When he flew into town, we had a business meeting the next day. Bebe came to me and told me, trust me and three feet to make you a good deal, man. Just don't even think about this. Just trust us. So out of my love for him, I say, okay, go ahead and do your thing. You know, you, I let him go ahead and, and we did the deal with Kylie Park. Yeah, and by this time, Kylie Park had quite a resume. I mean, he had Soldier Boy, uh, he had the Ying Yang Twins. Uh, you know, I mean, he was like a certified hit maker by yeah, this time. Yeah, yeah. They had a lot to do with me signing too. Yeah. Okay. So you signed the deal. I mean, was the deal good in retrospect or, or not so much? Ah, it wasn't, it wasn't a good deal. Oh, yeah, no. Nah. Okay. It wasn't a good deal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it wasn't a good deal, bro. They ain't give me nowhere close to what they were supposed to give me. Okay. So some you signed this deal based on, on your man's recommendation. Yep. Uh, and now, well, you signed to Kali Park, but then it was signed to a bigger label as well, right? Yep. See, Kali sure. Park always kept it real. Kali Park didn't do nothing wrong. Kali Park took me where the major check was supposed to be provided. You understand what I'm saying? So he did his job. From there, it was up on Brian Leach at Polo Grounds. That's who he took me to. Right, which was under J Records? J Records. Right, which is um They uh that's um he got he got it he got his whole situation based off of Clive Davis. Clive Davis. Clive was, Davis. Yeah, yeah that, that's what Davis. I was gonna say. So yeah, J Records is Clive Davis. Was I think he still was down was, was Clive Davis, yeah. Yeah. Who who was really one of the absolute legends in the music industry. I mean, yeah. that's like Whitney Houston, <laughs> you know, who uh I mean, he's got a catalog that's insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you and Clive Davis ever interact at all or no? Yeah, that's, in order for me to sign my deal, I had to sit down at a table with Clive Davis and I had to look at Clive and say, what do you think about this? And he was like, oh man. That's when they signed the check. And then I had to go to like a bunch of parties with Clive Davis, like parties that I didn't even understand. It was just like people that I didn't know who they were, just a bunch of like, millionaires and billionaires and houses that didn't even look real. And Clyde Davis used to tell me, just you stand right here, put his arm on my shoulder and say, don't move. Everybody come by, they take pictures. I'm got to think I'm 16, 17, so I'm it's, it's always still kind of strange to me. Right yeah, now, I mean, that's I'm like, yo, Clyde Davis, I need to borrow 30 million. I got these apartments. We, we're going to do 10 projects and I bring this 30 million back to you tomorrow, man. I didn't realize how much I had to juice. Oh, yeah. And he really got money like that. Yeah. Yeah. Clive Davis, like I said, I mean, when you talk about the all-time great music executives, period, throughout history. That's who Clive helped he did be, it. Yeah. That's who helped did yeah, it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I'll, but P. Diddy is one of hundreds that, that he put on. Yeah. That's the OG. Yeah. He's a yeah, real no, OG. Absolutely. 